tonight from LA, it's the Western Conference Championship. Seattle has finally broken through in the playoffs. One step away from MLS Cup, the road is blocked by the suddenly surging champions, the Los Angeles Galaxy. Roll tonight for Landon Donovan. In the absence of Edson Buddle, he moves up front. It means Christian Wilhelmsen plays from the start. Yeah, and we're going to see the lineup from Seattle. The key is two inexperienced players for the Sounders on the left-hand side. Phil Hump. Depth is going to be tested tonight, particularly with that game Thursday night in Salt Lake. Yeah, with the suspension of Mark Birch and no Eddie Johnson, means Scott and Kasky come into the starting lineup. Seattle's only three, and he's taken full advantage. It's only a couple of weeks since we were here for the regular season finale between these two. Galaxy won on that night by a goal to nil. That's difficult because particularly in the first half when you're trying to get into the flow of the game, you don't want to pick up a silly yellow card. It's weaving run from Kasky. Here's Zach Scott asking for a handball. Just uh, summarily waved aside by Jair Barufo. Ellis able to snuff it out. Now Wilhelmsen. Fine clearance right into the path of Landon Donovan, who's on his way here. Donovan goes down. There seemed to be contact from Hurtado. And it's a fairly routine decision for Jair Barufo. Inch perfect 50 yard clearance there for Christian Wilhelmsen made this possible. Yeah, but against Seattle and these two center backs, Landon Donovan needs to run the channels and use his speed. Nobody can catch up with him, and that's a nightmare to defend Ooh, against San Jose. And Sean Franklin, lucky with no handball call there. I tell him for that to happen. Here's Robbie Keane on the turn. Donovan sprinting forward in support. He's picked him out, and Donovan's header was on target, but spurning with that lanky frame of his. He often makes saves look very easy, doesn't he? Well, and you, we talk about the understanding, but look at that. Keen doesn't even need to look and see Landon Donovan in behind after that first touch. He knows he's there, picks up his head. You just can't defend that. That is a nightmare for two center backs. Here's Kasky. Some daylight on Franklin. Alonso. I tend to think of his... Uh, Nemesis tonight, Janinia was the one with the long-range shot, but Alonso is more than capable too. Right, but this play comes from Kasky. A great run in behind, but he has to cut the ball back because there's only one forward in the box. That's the tough thing for Seattle with no Eddie Johnson because he's been phenomenal off wide play. Kasky. Championship. Franklin. Bill Hansen, Donovan accelerating. And the cutback two for Keane! Robbie Keane, goal machine, does it again for the Galaxy. absolute worst time to give up a goal if you're Seattle it's a simple clearance and her title doesn't play that first ball well but give Landon Donovan a ton of credit how many forwards give up on this play but they followed they continue to make that run near post and then what do you know guess who gets on the end of it Robbie Keane Robbie Keane including the playoffs has scored 19 goals nine of those have been from Landon Donovan yeah, sensational cross, wasn't it, from Donovan? Keane still had a lot to do, mind. And didn't he do? Hasn't been a stoppage in play, and uh, Robbie Keane isn't about to hang around either. What about that for a pass? Franklin and McGee! Mike McGee for the Galaxy! It's his time to shine! Well, if you haven't called him Mr. November, now is the time to start. Watch this run from Robbie Keane. It was the perfect pass to hit in front of Sean Franklin so he can hit it first time. Puts it out in front of him behind Zach Scott and Mike McGee, time and time again in the playoffs, 
shows up when it counts. A huge second goal for the LA Galaxy. His eighth playoff goal. He was already third in LA Galaxy history in the post was for them because Donovan is on the prowl. In arriving, Donovan took a deflection. Wilhelmsen got there. Keen. 3 0. No flag. The goal stands. Keen grabs another. And Seattle are in big trouble. This game is very reminiscent of last year at Salt Lake for Seattle. You go down an early goal and then things just open up. No shape whatsoever. And when things are going your way, Robbie Keane in the right spot at the right time. But it's been too spread out if you're Seattle Sounders and Ziggy Schmidt. A wide open game has just opened up the channels for Phil Holmes and Franklin, Mike McGee, Robbie Keane to run those channels. 3-0. Uh, this may have gone in without the final touch from Robbie Keane, but yeah, Robbie Keane might have to buy Bohomps in a beer after the game. He has his picked off by Sarbas. Keane onto Sarbas, trying to turn the corner, does so, and Michael Sterling with a big, strong palm, tipping it over the top, and perhaps keeping Seattle alive in this series. And just those runs out of the midfield have caused a huge problem for Seattle, especially in the second half. Immediately right after this, Park Hurtado looking around, asking for answers. And Evan, the run fall from Donovan is a long busting one. Donovan leads it, Bill helps him back to Donovan! Oh, he got the touch and off the line by Jeff Park. An exquisite combination of passes involving Wilhelmsen and Donovan again. Just an absolute clinic on partnership up front. The understanding between Donovan and Keane, when to play the ball, when to have a dummy run. Jeff Park saving the day for Seattle, but Donovan and Keane have been on the air again. A chance for Eddie Johnson. Have a run. He's taken that chance onto Zakawani. Late chance here for Seattle, Zakawani, oh, Martinez with the shots. Well, they were asking for a handball. Just a glimmer of it. One more try for Martinez, perhaps. Johansson instead couldn't get the cross in, and that will do it. The Los Angeles Galaxy with a command performance in front of their own fans. Robbie Keane will take the plaudits again with another two postseason goals.